quite simply one of the most stunning spaces you will ever enter. It's also huge. You look up, it's 180 feet from the floor to the top of the dome. You could take the Statue of Liberty, stand it in here from base to torch, and it wouldn't hit the top. And around the perimeter of this great building or great room, statues of some of the most notable Americans throughout history. Abraham Lincoln back there, General Grant here. This is a guy who's been getting a lot of attention in the last couple of years, Alexander Hamilton. Of course, the Broadway show named for him. Got a statue of George Washington right here. And standing next to the statue of Washington is a the speaker person. of that, a guy who's actually <laughs> alive, Speaker Ryan. Come on, let's take a walk. When I, I, I talked to you a little while ago, I said the last time we were here was about a year and a couple of months ago. You'd only been in the job two months at the time. Then, yeah, that's right. What's the most important lesson you've learned about doing this job properly in that time? Patience, composure, temperament. Uh, you have to be a good leader, you have to be decisive, you have to make sure that things work and get done and listen to a lot of people. Uh, that's to me how, how being successful at this job um, needs to occur. This is an amazing opportunity. I, I look at this job, I mean look at this place, it's breathtaking. We're stepping into Statuary Hall right now. The, the thing that runs through my mind, I walk through this building every time. I go from the gym to my office through here. I think, how did a kid from Janesville, Wisconsin, you know, grow up waiting tables, washing dishes, you know, mowing lawns, working at McDonald's, end up doing this? Yeah. Only in America. And so to me, I just, I just get a sense of, of awe and I'm appreciative of the opportunity and the responsibility that comes with it. You have to be able, and you've said this to me, get rid of the white noise. That's right. You've That's got right. to be able to put the noise focus. of Washington and, and a lot of the headlines aside to do your job. You went home to Wisconsin just a week or so ago. Well, I, I was home this weekend. Yeah, right. And, and, and you didn't hold a town hall meeting when you were home, did you? Uh, no, but I do quite a few of those. I just didn't this but particular time. Did you not this particular time because of what's been happening to some Republican members No, I had some other plans. Congress? Actually, I went down to the border, to the Rio Grande, uh, to go uh, visit with the Border Patrol to talk about what kind of assets they needed. So I did some other things that I had planned long ago. Uh, on a, in an interview this morning, the president was asked by another network if he thought that President Obama was responsible for the organizing of some of the protests we've seen at town halls across the country for Republican members of Congress. And he said, yes, I, I do think President Obama is responsible. Would you agree with that? Well, I believe Obamacare was responsible for it. So if you're asking, did he give us a health care law that screwed up in the health care system? Yes, I'll give you that. Well, I, that's, I think he that was saying that, that he's now behind the scenes organizing oh, yeah, I, protests. I, I have no knowledge of such a thing. I have no clue. There's the white noise that I'm talking about. What I'm focused on here is doing my job and making sure that Congress works, making sure that we solve people's problems. We have been entrusted by the people of this country to fix problems. That's what I'm focused on. I'm not focused on the white noise and the distractions of the day, but on getting things done to improve people's lives and make good on the promises we made while we campaigned. We campaigned on an agenda to fix problems. Now we got to deliver. I look down this hallway right now, and at the end of that hall are the doors to the House chamber. Right. You're the guy who actually invited the president it's your, in your That's official right. capacity right. to speak to the joint session tonight. What kind of reception do you expect him to get in that room? I think he'll get a, we always try to make sure that everyone gets a respectful reception. Even, we did this with Obama, even uh, if Democrats don't agree or like what Donald Trump's saying or doing as president, I, we expect respect. It is a de place of decorum. What I'm hoping, and I believe we're gonna hear from the president, is inspiration, is let's go fix problems. We ran on solutions. We need to deliver for the American people. And, and I think it's gonna be a speech that speaks to all Americans, inclusive. Have you seen Everybody. it? I've seen parts of it. And what I saw, I liked a lot. Because we've got big problems to fix in this country. And if we don't tackle our problems in America soon, they will tackle us. And we have to do this together as all Americans. And that's the kind of tone and temperament that I'm expecting from tonight's speech. I, I want to say that the speaker gave up the gym this morning to do this with mm -hmm. us. Are you sure you don't want to take the 365 steps to the top of the dome with me? I don't have time now. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome to come. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate right. it. Really appreciate yeah, your you time bet, this man. morning. Yeah. Thank you so Thank you. much. Paul welcome. Ryan, the speaker of the house. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.